Hello everyone, it's the holiday season. Yes, tis the season of love, family, joy, food, fun, and all that good stuff. And on this special holiday season of your Caribbean news and culture, we have a little bit of all those elements wrapped up for you as we explore food, traditions, music, and all these elements in the Caribbean. You are watching your Caribbean news and culture. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Welcome to your Caribbean News and Culture, our special holiday edition. Now, of course, for the holidays, everyone cooks up rice and beef stew and macaroni pie and all these great array of foods. But what are the essentials for the holiday? That's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to start off with something called black cake. Some people call it black cake, some people call it rum cake or even um, fruit cake. And it's definitely a must have for the holiday season. Don't get it confused with a chocolate cake. It's not a chocolate cake, it is a rum cake. The consistency is nice and moist and rich. And basically the way they make it is you soak the fruit in wine or in rum and that's what gives it that rich texture and that rich flavor and the darkness is basically from food dyeing like food coloring and that's what gives it that type of dark consistency so rum cake fruit cake whatever you may call it this is definitely a must-have in the caribbean for the holidays the next thing is one of my personal favorites and it is sweet bread as we call it in barbados it may also be known to some as coconut bread. And as you can guess, the main ingredient is probably coconut. <laughs> um, a lot of it, sometimes people will choose to add fruit. As you can see, this one has some raisins in it. And this is mostly um, like a dry consistency, even though it may be moist. Um, it's definitely more of like a bread texture than the rum cake would be. Moving right on down, we have what people call a pound cake. Um, pound cake is probably the closest thing to a yellow cake or a cake you may bake out of a box or something from at home. And this is just a regular cake. You know, you will wake up in the morning, you may bake it. Don't think about adding any type of icing and whatnot to the cake. It's not that type of cake. It's just a pound cake or a yellow cake. So this, though, goes hand in hand for me with the chief of the holidays, the must have, don't even think about having Christmas. You can forget a gift, but you cannot forget to have a ham. Ham is an absolute must have for the Caribbean, for Christmas in the Caribbean. In my household personally, the ham is baked on Christmas Eve night. So when you go to sleep and you wake up, that's what you're smelling, ham. <laughs> so for me personally, this is how um, my Christmas is. A lot of people in Barbados, they like to have ham with something called a cheese cutter. And what a cheese cutter is, is you take the ham and you put it inside of this thing called a soft bread and you put some cheese with it and that's pretty much your breakfast. That's what gets you going. But me personally, I like to take some ham this is how my Christmas mornings go down. I get me some ham, and I get me some pound cake, yellow cake, whatever you want to call it, and this is my breakfast. I don't need any eggs. I don't need any bacon. I just need some ham and some pound cake. Now, of course, you can't have all these great things without washing them down with something. So coming up, we have an array of drinks that are must-haves for the Caribbean. But before we go to break, we have to show you a video of some of the traditions that happen during Christmas in Barbados. Take a look. We'll be right back. It's the most 
most wonderful time of the year. And we here in Barbados really enjoy this festive season with the warmth of the sunshine, caroling, food, drinks, gifts, family, friends, and loved ones. Not forgetting the real reason for the season, which is the birth of Jesus Christ that brought joy, peace, love, and hope to all. We also spread that gift of love, not only to our family, but also our fellow man. We are, we are doing Christmas caroling in the community and uh, we are bringing cheer to the community in a different way and we are singing carols, we are also giving gifts to the children and uh, wishing everybody Merry Christmas. get anywhere quickly. You don't want your friends to be annoyed, so you text. You're on your way. Five seconds is the average time your eyes are off the road while texting while driving. Make sure you get where you're going. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, 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 tap. 
Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Welcome back to your Caribbean News and Culture, everyone. We've been spending our time here having a holiday special, exploring the foods and the great things that go on in the Caribbean during the holiday season. As you just saw in that video clip, um, you go around and you see all the lights, you're caroling, you're giving away gifts, and you're just in that overall exciting spirit and exciting feeling. Now, before we went to break, we explored some of the foods that are must-haves in the Caribbean. Now, you can't have all these great foods and nothing to drink. So now let's get into some of the things that are must-have in terms of beverages. And we're keeping it PG because, of course, rum and alcohol, those are obviously must-haves. But these drinks are a little bit more mellow. The first up is something called sorrel. Now, sorrel is made from a sorrel plant, and it gives you that rich, purple, dark mauve type of consistency. You can definitely make this at home, or you can purchase it, clearly, as we have here. <laughs> But um, sorrel is definitely a must-have. You drink it with your ham. You can drink it with, you know, your main course um, later on in the evening when you have Christmas dinner and whatnot. So sorrel is definitely a must-have. Another must-have is ginger beer. Now, ginger beer does have a taste somewhat of a beer, but it is a casual drink. You can't really get intoxicated over it, but don't quote me on that. I'm not a specialist. <laughs> Um, as you can see here, ginger beer is sold in many of the Caribbean supermarkets in, the, in our local community here, but it's also made. You can also make it at home. And of course, the main ingredient is ginger, um, and it's definitely a must-have in the Caribbean as well. Moving right along is one of my personal favorites, and this is a plus. Now, don't get confused with it saying an, en an energy drink. It's not an energy drink in the essence of how you may think a Red Bull or, you know, a monster drink is an, en is an energy drink. This is something you can just drink casually like a Pepsi or a Coke. And it's something I drink personally as a Pepsi or a Coke. Um, it has somewhat of a sweet yet bitter taste to it. You know how those energy drinks often taste. But it's definitely a casual drink. Again, something you can have with your food and whatnot. I mean, in Barbados, personally, I remember my mom and my family ordering this by the case <laughs> for the holidays. It wasn't just going to the store and buying one. We ordered a case of Plus. So Plus is definitely a must-have. One more thing I want to mention, even though we don't have it here on display, is a drink called Cremas. And cremas is a must-have, especially in Haitian households. And it's made with um, a lot of milk, sweet condensed milk and sweet evaporated milk. Um, and it's bottled and you basically buy it from whoever is making it in the neighborhood and you buy it by the bottle, you can buy it by the case, as some people buy plus by the case. Um, and that's definitely a must-have in Haitian households for the Caribbean in the Caribbean for the holiday seasons. So we touched on foods and, you know, must-haves and foods and must-have for beverages, and you saw some traditional things that go on back home in the Caribbean. I'm gonna take a sip of my plus. I can't tell you the last day I had one. That's how you know it's the holiday season, because I'm drinking plus. And we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll wrap things up when we come back. Stay with us. You're watching your Caribbean news and culture. Hey girl, que pasa? Our weekend was crazy, from what I can remember. Wait, wait, wait. So down, Chica. Take it easy. A what? A picture of me? Who sent it to you? How did she get it? I'm not even friends with her. You gotta send it to me now. This must have been from Saturday night. I was so high. Who do you think got it?
Hey, Lindsay. I wish you didn't smoke weed. You're not the same when you smoke. And I miss my friend. I'll be outside. Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you guys so much. That was my Auntie Jenny, my cousin Sharon, Pauline, Cameron, and Trevor. One of the pack is missing. That's tomorrow, but she's in Vermont. Love you guys. Merry Christmas to you too. Joining me here on set, I have some of my family members, my lovely fiance, Junior, my good friend and soon-to-be sister-in-law, Daphne, her little one, Malachi, <laughs> and of course, my lovely mom. So mom, Talk to me about Christmas in Barbados. What do you remember the most? What do you miss the most? Talk to us about well, it. What I really miss and remember most is just being with family and enjoying the day. The three days, because it's Christmas Eve night, it's Christmas, and then it's Boxing Day. And just having fun and loving it and enjoying everyone, eating, drinking, and being, having a good time. Right. Yeah. And I remember more than anything, you, I mean, I don't cook yet, but when I start cooking, one thing that you've taught me <laughs> is that you always cook enough for people to come over. Oh, yes. Always people are always, so right? People come over and they always have something to eat and drink. Right. No, yeah. Never say no. Never say no to anyone that <laughs> needs something to eat. Food Absolutely. is nothing. Food is nothing. And it's yeah. in abundance. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. We've had an exploration of all the greatness for the holidays and I want to say a special thanks to Auntie Vise who provided us with many of the selections you see here. They are uh, um, a fairly new bakery shop um, up in the Codman Square area in Dorchester, Massachusetts. So a very special shout out and thank you for them for providing these delicious treats for us to bring to life and bring to light some of the essentials for the holiday season. In in the Caribbean. So, of course, there's not just Christmas. Some people celebrate Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. There are many things people celebrate. Thanks so, Hanukkah. Thanksgiving. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What, what you laughing at? What are you laughing at? <laughs> so, from my lovely family to yours, happy, happy holidays, holidays and happy new year. Sure. See you in the new year. Bye. <laughs> Let's eat, guys.